I've been listening. I've been in those places for two years. Like, okay. <laughs> uh, what, what, what come everybody to my channel? Hey, welcome everybody to my first interview uh, for my Black Bourgeois Tech. Uh, this is going to be one of many where I'm going around to um, talk to different um, black tech entrepreneurs about what it's like to run a tech business. Uh, today, a um, uh, tech entrepreneur I'm talking to is, he go by the name of Over, Over how you pronounce it? William, Over William. William. Well, uh, I know William from, from Orlando for a while now, say like close to 20 years, right? I mean, it has been probably, now nah, about probably. 2018 now? Yeah. Yeah. 12, about 12 years. 12 years. Like, about 12 years. Yeah. Where are you originally from? Yeah, uh, New York. New York, okay. How long have you been living in Orlando now? Since uh, right after 9-11, 2002. <laughs> yeah. Since 2002, I've been, I've been, I've been... Is that what scared you moved down here? Oh, no, no, no. Well, it was kind of like I wanted, it had so happened, I wanted to kind of get down to Florida. And I was just kind of deciding what city. That I don't want to be in, so all that picked all in though. Yeah, so I know William because um, like I used to do a lot of club photography, and uh, at that time he was a promoter, and um, I think I almost worked for him sometime too because yeah, like, yeah. he wanted to do like some pictures, <laughs> and uh, he won. Uh, he had like a both the promotion company. We also have like a digital website. So this is one of um one a few questions I, I was wanna ask about how is that to run a, a tech company but also like digital marketing. So uh, explain to me how did you get into promotion and on running a digital media platform? Well, yeah, well, promotions I was in for a long time uh, back when I was in college. Um, and of course, you know those times were there was no digital or internet marketing. So it's kind of like flyers and hand to hand, yeah. um, and word of mouth discussions and things like that, and posters. And <clears throat> as the platform came in, where you had uh, MySpace and Facebook and and those things and Twitter were, co were, were all coming out, I just saw the use of other things outside of actually giving somebody a flyer in their hand. Where you're, you're literally putting a flyer in your inbox, you're putting a flyer on their computer screen. Um, for them to see, and this is before it became um, to your, to the, the media as we know it, and then it, of course it progressed into the apps and, and people getting emails to their phones and and being able to now instead of going home and logging onto your email to check about a party or to check about a guest list, you can do it right from your phone on your break at, at work. Um, so looking at technology in that way, because I've always been in technology. Since I was little, so but looking at were, it, were you like really uh, know how coding and everything like that? Yeah, I was. I I, I didn't do a lot of coding. I was more on the um, the, the broad end of it, but I I know enough to be dangerous. Uh, but I uh, enough to hire somebody to do it the correct way. Yeah. Um. So did you, the the website that you had? Did you build that yourself? No, that was we had when we had talkablelando.com. Yeah. We actually, I I actually purchased talkablelando. Dot com from someone and we had that platform with it and then I wanted to change the look yeah so what I did was uh, we we got had a team at the time do it for us yeah it was perfect the look was great everybody kind of loved it um, we out we started to outgrow that look we yeah to outgrow the platform that it was built on uh, so we reached out to some people and, and got with a guy Bill who was uh so it's kind of hard to run yeah. do you need a lot of people to help you run a well, platform like that well, so well say, oh, it, it's, the, i wouldn't say you want to have quality people i would yeah. say they have a bunch of people but you always want to have people that specialize in certain things because there's so many different aspects you know, Such you have, as? yeah you, well you have the aspect of the actual back end of the website yeah you have to have somebody do that because things could happen when the website can crash it can, you don't want to you know you don't want to be down for a long time so you have to have that then, you know, in that case, we had um, my business partner, Miss O, she was real good at the pictures and, and, and modeling pictures and, and, and making pictures look good. So that was her aspect of making us look good while being there. So everybody played a different role in it. And it, it's really, you can have one person that does everything. But again, keep in mind what you give a lot of your time to on one thing, you'll lose time on other things. So it's always good to have a good team around you. Um. So you, you had that, uh, well, say, how do you able to get bring revenue into that platform? Um, well, we, well, the way we did it was with, um, with Google Ad Space, um, as well as our, our traffic that was coming through, provided us where we could show our traffic stats. 
and that provided us a way to say, okay, now our market space on our on our website, we're charging people for that. Um, people want to advertise with their flyers for weekly parties, monthly parties, special events. Um, we even had as as little time on later on, we had a place where restaurants wanted to advertise with us in Orlando. So was those like direct uh, direct profit? Correct. Those okay. Direct. Okay, nice. So which one would say would be more profitable, direct avenue um, or like say Google Adsense running through it? Which one is more? Well, I mean, Google. I mean, it it, it could be either which way. It's just a matter of the, the the amount of traffic that you get, the amount of clicks you get for Google Adsense. Um, I think on the other side of it, getting direct profit or direct revenue, it it makes you say okay well if you if you have a goal for a month you can set that goal whether you're doing your advertising or whatever and you can make that as opposed to you're kind of counting on someone else to click on those links for you to get the adsense revenue but you can either make your own revenue so i think it's more profitable to do direct um marketing when you have that that space so why would you say if somebody who want to say want to be an entrepreneur but to uh, like to a uh, digital marketing website how you go say go about it um, well, learn your craft, um, learn what exactly it is that you're going to um, promote or market. I mean, if somebody, if you, if, if you learn people's um, reactions to things, I, there's a lot of time, even when I came into Orlando, I spent time literally just watching people, watching club promoters, watching club owners, watching club goers just kind of watching and learning of what I want to do um, and you know I always find in any business you can you can make a business out of anything you don't, yeah. have, to, you don't have to be the first one to do it yeah. you just have to be the first one to make it better than what it is before and that's how you get successful you know because it's it's like you don't want to reinvent the wheel you just make the wheel better you know you, yeah. you know, I think with the first wheel ever I'm sure over time it got smoother and smoother and smoother so it's just a matter of making it uh, uh, looking at what what niches you can kind of, you know, go in on and, and make better. Uh, what are you currently doing in the tech world? Um, right now, what we do uh, primarily is managed services. So pretty what managed services is, we'll go into a network, we'll uh, evaluate the network, we'll see any, look for any holes, any problems in the network, we'll patch those things and make them better, and then we'll start monitoring the network um, and see if any problems that we can get to those problems and evaluate and fix those problems before the clients know that they see the problem. So you kind of like like their, 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 their IT back in to make sure Correct. everything running smoothly and Correct. stuff like Correct. that? A lot of times things will happen and the only time they know what happens is when we send an email stating this happened, this is what it, what it did, this is what it affected and how it was fixed. How do you get into business like that? Um, I've always been, um, like I said, I've always been involved in tech and I've always worked in, especially within corporate um, feel and one thing I saw there are a lot of businesses that are small and medium-sized so more, your, most of your focus is like big company no. or your small company that small can company, hire yeah. like small company own. and they, they can't they can't it, it, it would kill them to have the entire IT staff yeah so we give them a virtual IT staff oh, okay um, so it's like a virtual correct okay, it's a virtual awesome. IT staff um, we have virtual offices we have we, everything is we pretty much virtual so we, 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 we try to make it that way so it's they don't have to worry about space, they don't have to worry about a, a payroll of things, it's just a cost to them, it's a low monthly cost for the amount of users that they have, and we go from there. Good, nice, that's, that sounds like a great concept, virtual management tech and stuff like IT tech. Oh, that's awesome, so what would you say to the uh, uh, a young minority who like thinking about interest in going to the tech world? Um, but I would say do it, I mean if you're interested in it, if you want to do it, if it's a passion, definitely do it. Um, just make sure that you focus on what your niche is and what you want to do and learn it. And even when you've learned everything there is to learn about it, learn some more um, because you can never learn enough. And, and, and just go with it and a lot of times that where you want to be within the tech world, it'll, it'll usually call out to you as long as you do what you're supposed to do. <laughs> I know, cause I, what I'm trying to explain to you is like, and like I know most of our uh, minority kids who are in a community seem to go for like the entertainment, which is fine, 
uh, to the thing to turn me music and acting and I oh, and which those were is fine but it seemed like it's harder to get those chords versus Correct. like a career like technology which is guaranteed if you know what you're doing Correct. they'll guarantee uh, um reward through there Correct. and it is a great way to be an entrepreneur because like the world is going to everything going to a tech so it only makes sense for us to be part of that of that field as well. Correct. Correct. Yeah.